it's wild to me how much the power the Supreme Court has. Like, it is so crazy. Like, we we spent our entire life growing up being told that the U.S. government is perfect and it works because there's checks and balances and every branch of government holds the other branches in check and blah, and all this nonsense. And then we grow up and it's like, well, none of that's true. <laughs> like, it's like you get enough power in one branch and you can just do whatever the hell you want, apparently. First topic, we're talking affirmative action. Uh, a lot of things went down and with decisions when it came into Supreme Court, with college admissions, and a couple other things. And uh, we're going to shine a little bit of light on it, talk about it, and uh, give our viewpoints on it. Um, it was trending big on Twitter for sure. to where it caught my attention. Um, have any of you guys read into it or seen what was going on? Mateo? Yeah. Or uh, the word? Yeah, I saw this morning <clears throat> Twitter was blowing up and everybody was saying a lot of different things. Some stuff uh, saying that it's now OK to discriminate against LGBTQ people, uh, I guess, when hiring. Um, people are saying that Chick-fil-A has some shit to do with this. Chick-fil-A is dumb happy right now. I heard a lot of things. Um, somebody said that we need to tell the orcas about the Supreme Justice Court. We need to Back to the whales. <laughs> Team Orca, dude. Uh, but I just, I know some real fucked up shit is happening because if you could say, if you could discriminate against someone because of who they are, color, if that's legally okay... I I don't know where that puts us, like, as a society. Hasn't, hasn't that always been the case, though? Uh, you could make rules, right? Like, you could you no shorts, stuff like that, no shoes, nah, no. I mean, like, no shirt, no service. I feel like it was like fifteen years ago now, or ten years ago. There was the like cake. the the baking a gay cake. The guy was like, "I'm not baking a gay cake," and yeah. the court like sided with him. Yeah, that, that one was upheld. And this this is where we get into the problem of like, I am not smart enough to decipher some of these deci decisions. But from what I heard, uh, I mean, uh, according to the, from what I heard is you can now discriminate against uh, this had something to do with like a website provider or something like that. And they refused to make a website for a gay couple or something like that like or some such wedding. But it, but it also like. I heard that it wasn't even like a real situation that had happened. They were just suing for their right to be able to discriminate, basically. And the court sided with them because there wasn't actually anyone trying to use their service and that they were denying that like it it's it's a weird it's a weird thing is what I was uh is what I was reading. I don't know. I saw uh, I saw a tweet where they were like talking about the flip side of this, and it was this store that supposedly has a sign up that says, uh, we do not serve Trump supporters. Uh, churches, we will only do business with churches that have pride flags. And they're like, and the tweet was basically saying like, well, like if we're allowed to discriminate now, then we're going to discriminate. That That's Man, crazy, that's nuts. bro. I feel like it takes us back instead of forward. It's weird. Um, maybe it gives us more freedom. And I don't know. But that just, I mean, let's be for real. I would like to know. If someone doesn't want me in their establishment, then please. I wouldn't I, want to eat there, yeah. There's a lot of other establishments out there I could support. You know what I mean? I think um, the argument so, comes down to, though, like, the, at least with the with the gay cake, it's so weird to say, refer to. It had something to do with, like, the fact that it was not a necessity, but it was, like, an artistic ask like imagine yeah. you walked into a gas station and they're like no gays allowed like that's like that's obviously wrong like you know what i mean yeah mm -hmm. like what if what if you're stranded in, in the only gas station in that area is like nah we don't want any gay people in here it's like it's uh it's it, it's interesting though that people act that like being in proximity to like gay things is gonna like infect Make you or gay. turn you gay or something <laughs> like i am so against gay people that i will not accept their money is just such a weird take for me like why would you not want someone's money you're a business you're out here your goal is to get money <laughs> get money nah, yeah i think that should 
This shit is definitely taking a step back. Like, first it was no blacks allowed. Now it's the no gays allowed. It's just like, damn. Like, I thought we were, in, like, getting better. Now it's just yeah. like, no, fuck it. We're just going to go off the hinge now. Because the black people won. Now we're going to just take our anger out of the gays. Like, that shit, this this what it sounds like a little bit. Like, we got to try to win some type of battle. And I think it's ridiculous. Like, it's, let people- it's wild. It's wild to me how much the power the Supreme Court has. Like, it is so crazy. Like, we we spent our entire life growing up being told that the U.S. government is perfect and it works because there's checks and balances and every branch of government holds the other branches in check and blah, and all this nonsense. And then we grow up and it's like, well, none of that's true. <laughs> like, it's like you Had get enough power in one branch and you can just do whatever the hell you want, apparently. Had to listen to that stupid ass song. I'm just a bill, only a bill. All right, I, they lied to me, bro. <laughs> I mean, there are checks and balances. I mean, even even like who we vote for determines like who ends up on the Supreme Court. Like, like well, well, uh, kind of. Trump- like, I mean, Trump got what three three uh, seats that he was able to fill. That is craziness. These are lifetime appointments, too, man. These people are going to do that. They're going to be in this position for the next, like, 30 or 40 years. Yeah, it doesn't Biden matter how one. progressive the rest of the, the country gets. It doesn't matter what the rest of the, the way the, 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 the country is moving because there is a trend towards more progressive ideas and more acceptance towards things that were previously, like, frowned upon or taboo or anything. It doesn't matter because the court can just do whatever the fuck they want to and... There's not a system for that. There's not a process in place, I don't think, to like impeach and remove a Supreme Court member. Like, but, I'm gonna lie, but I mean, if it's a thing that people cared about, like Congress could do it. Like, like there was a proposed idea where it was like, um, the Supreme Court justices have to serve like an eighteen, I think like an eighteen year term or something mm-hmm. like that, which is still really fucking long. Or maybe it was 12. I can't remember. But it basically shook out to like basically within every president's presidency, they'll get to pick one Supreme Court nominee, Um, which I I think is fair. Yeah, that seems like it works. Um, And then obviously the people don't have lifetime, lifetime, you know, appointments or whatever. Um, But yeah. I don't know. It just doesn't. And maybe in the coming years, it'll be something people care about more now that the Supreme Court is more packed than in, you know, previous years. Um, Even with like the uh, the college thing, too, like I never knew. Like, I know it's difficult to get into certain colleges. I know Harvard has always been that, oh, you know, like so prestigious and no one can get anything. But. I never really realized, like, a race played a factor in that. Like, they really want more white and Asian people in there than blacks and Latinos. It's not even that. Honestly, like, I, I think that that's, like, a, I think that's, like, a, honestly a right-wing talking point to kind of split division between minorities, which I think is, like, a tactic that a lot of people use to try to split them, uh, split minorities and pit them against each other. But... um it's something like uh, the vast majority of like Harvard, Yale, Ivy League school people that get in, they're either uh, legacy members or they, you know, they're or their family is someone that has donated a lot of money to the school. And then the, of the remaining percentage, it's such a tiny percentage of, of like people of color, black people that get in. That was that was what it was intended to to do. Um, the way that the court apparently interpreted the law is, or the previous precedent is that the United States government shouldn't make laws that are based in race because that itself is racism. So that's why affirmative action needs to get removed and which is wacky. It's like pretending like we've already solved racism. So we can't make laws protecting certain races or that becomes racism itself. But it's like, as any minority in the United States can tell you racism's not solved. The systems that hold us down aren't, haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> that's wild. Holy shit. Yeah, I mean the law is racist though, right? Like, like e- even if it's like maybe not, it's like positively prejudiced towards. It, I would one say it's racially based, but I wouldn't say right. it's racist. <laughs> yeah, I guess what is? Yeah, I guess it depends on what 
how people view it as it's like if you're making decisions based on somebody's race you're putting some people up and you're putting some people down is like the 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 view um i am okay with racist laws as long as they make sense so like it oh, sorry and i'm just using their verbiage right i don't, I don't think we should actually have racist <laughs> laws but like like um as an example if for how many years of jim crow existed right where people you know people of color weren't allowed to go to certain schools and they weren't allowed to go to sec like you know a college and stuff like that and they needed to come up with black you know you know histor historically black colleges are just colleges for black people back in the day because they couldn't go to the white schools mm-hmm. um the <clears throat> the fact that that occurred based on their race the day they end the Jim Crow is not like we've righted all our wrongs. Like, sure, we've corrected course, but there's already a lot of error that occurred. How do we correct for that? And it's like, to me, it makes sense that a lot of people have this view that affirmative action shouldn't be race-based. It should be class-based. So you should help all the poor people, which sounds noble i'm cool with that we should help poor people in general white poor people black poor people hispanic everybody who's poor should be helped right i'm not discounting that it's just that you're ignoring the fact that black people were targeted for so many years and then just when you end that it's like oh let's just help all the poor people now it's like you're not really correcting the black problem you know you're, you're correcting a different problem and it may help a lot of black people, may, like, you know, predominant black people, but it's not going to, you're not addressing the people, not, like, directly that were harmed by something. So that, that's why I feel like a law that targets race, like affirmative action, I think is fine. I think there are arguments like, how long should affirmative action be in place for, right? Like, because all things being equal, it shouldn't be around, right? Like at at some point in the future. Yeah. Assuming we were all starting at the same, uh, similar, same level of advantage or not even advantage, but we, we all weren't, we were all starting at the same level of having no disadvantage or something, right? Like some, something along those lines. I don't, I don't know the exact. Right. That's what I'm saying. All things being equal, like everybody starts same money, same educational opportunities and all that kind of stuff. We shouldn't have. We say equal, but nothing's equal in America, right? No, but that's what I'm saying. If everything was equal, then we shouldn't have affirmative action, right? But we live in a real world that has inequality and has discrimination and systemic yeah. issues and things like that. So it makes sense to have laws that are safety nets almost like equalizers. Yeah, I but feel. I could, I would say Go in ahead. some aspects, like being equal has its advantages but i think at the same time like i don't know i'm torn like i don't want to seem like a dick but some people maybe don't need the help maybe in, in a way like like i don't i think how sh- how should i word this um people will get the help and just shit on it pretty much like so what does that mean like for example they help us like a, doesn't matter poor rich or middle class whatever right but some people would get the help and i just think they would not take advantage of it i think it'll be a waste like but you know, what like, they do with it why is it of your importance what they actually do with the money why is it important to you maybe give it to somebody else who like does want to go to college or you know do like i don't know this, like i just think maybe it could be spent uh, in a different way but but aff- affirmative action though doesn't have anything to do with like money though right like it just it just sets like no. standards for like uh with the, um, the like the the diversity that is forced into like co- like college campuses and things like that well but it takes money to send someone to college right someone's gonna pay for it if we're, yeah, if we're it's just sort of action off- yeah it doesn't entail people paying for college it's Sorry, the government isn't paying these people to, for, for these people to go to school. It's like, it, in fact, the government gives money to Harvard and stuff and these schools so that they could target 
people that are basically less basically fortunate so they could hit their like diversity goals pretty okay, much. yeah so they'll accept some number of black people to hit like a quota so to speak but they don't look Those like they're racist. people are on the hook for figuring out how they're going to pay for their college like everybody else they need scholarships they need loans grants all that kind of jazz um yeah the government ain't not in relation to affirmative action the government is paying like when i went to college right i was i i was poor enough that i i i got financial aid right so i got free money from the government to go to school for a period of time and then later they stopped giving me free money but i got subsidized loans which were i got college loans but while i was in school the government was paying for all the interest so i didn't it wasn't like accumulating money i was only I, at the end i only had to pay what i borrowed and not any interest you know yep but doesn't that in a way doesn't that's almost racist in a way too like oh we only got to pick these people because of our, our quota needs to be met like like even even saying that that just seems like yeah do you really want to go to a college that only wants to hit quotas for certain races like i think this shit's kind of fucked up i, I mean if you're going to like harvard or yale or something you're going for spe specifically for the the name of the college you're going to an ivy league school for the networking yeah. opportunities like there, there's other reasons to try to get into oh no yeah you go to like harvard that. there's a lot of doors are going to open for you but it's yeah. just these th this this tends to be focused a lot on specifically like the ivy league schools and things like that because of their racial disparity but i mean you look at like uh i was think i was looking at like a study about like georgia like the university of georgia uh the state is something like 20 30 percent uh black people the college itself is like three percent five percent or something like that like there is some kind of failure going on there that the, it doesn't look more in line with the actual racial diversity of the state. I agree. I don't know. It, could it be like a money aspect though? You would think. I'm sure there's. I'm sure there's a lot of factors to it, but one of the factors for sure is that there has been a tendency to prioritize people with Anglo-sounding last names and. <laughs> Like, like, I mean, that, that's 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 just the facts of the system. I mean, you look at you look at like so Harvard funny. and Ivy League schools. You get into those schools because you have money, or you because you know someone that went there. Or you have family members that went there, right? Like, that's the best way to get your foot in the door in those schools. Private colleges is what it all sounds like, pretty much. Like, only this certain group of people can come. And like, college should honestly, they should just make college where it's blank. Like, like fuck all this fucking. Oh, you know somebody, you alumni, all this, I put money into it. Nah, bro. You have the grades. If you have, if you do have the financial to go, I'm pretty sure Harvard's are probably maybe one of the most expensive colleges. I mean, I don't. I, it's an Ivy League school. There's yeah. plenty of, there's a, several of them that are expensive. Yeah, Har Harvard is pricey uh, as hell probably, for sure. Yeah, though. I would assume Harvard is freaking um, crazy. Side note, you think anybody could just walk on a Harvard campus just like any other regular college? No, I have no idea. Honestly, I don't know if it's like a gated community or something. That's what I associate with with like rich people. Rich so like, <laughs> but I don't know if that's actually what the school's like. I, know I, would, I would ID. think I would think anybody could walk onto Harvard. I you might so? take a trip to Harvard. I, I've been one to day. a couple <laughs> different universities. There's mm -hmm. no like what like a gate and then a security at the front. Like I, I've it. never seen something I, like that. I wandered around Rice University one time and just found like a because I was touring the school, but I left the tour at some point and I just found like an empty studio with like a big like piano in it and just messed around with the piano for a little bit. <laughs> I would like to like maybe do like a social experiment, right? Just go to one of these Ivy League school and just sit on a class as it's starting. Like, do they I think take you can, I think you can audit classes, honestly, but I don't know exactly how that process works, but I don't know if you can do it at Harvard. I would assume you probably could. I know, like, I went to both colleges I went to, pro and I went to a little-ass rinky-dink community college, and then I went to UCF, which is one of the bigger universities in the country. And at, at, at PBCC, or I guess now it's Palm Beach State College, there, um, you probably get noticed because the classes are so small. It was like high school. You walk into a 30-person room, it's like... Uh, who the hell are you? It's been three weeks. We don't know who you <laughs> are. You know what I mean? Like, before. you just pop up. But, like, 
at, at UCF, I went to, I had classes where there were 400 people sitting in there. And I would mm-hmm. go to classes that, I would sit in classes with my wife. I'd go to my wife's class and just sit there and be on the laptop because I didn't have class that period or something. So, like, a lot of students just sit in in classrooms. Like, And imagine Lake Worth High with no gates. You could just walk in from anywhere. That's how a lot of universities are. It's just like mm-hmm. a bunch of buildings in like a block. It's yeah, I like think I went no... to um, UCF with you one time or for something, I think. And you guys had your own like little like downtown area of pizza drawing and like a Starbucks or something. It was like a whole crazy little island in the freaking school. I, I thought it was awesome. Looks confusing as shit, though. Like I, as a freshman or somebody going in. First year, I can see how you can get lost like that. Like that shit looks crazy to me. Oh, I've got off topic here, but yeah, no, I, uh, I don't know what, what's the cleaning the slate and having colleges and our Ivy leagues just open for educational and financial. Of course, you got to have the money. Um, yeah, it shouldn't matter skin or color, bro. I don't know. We're just gonna be always stuck in this way. Just yeah, know. it's just it's complicated because it's like. I feel like personally, instead of I don't know how much resources it takes to do affirmative action and stuff like that. So I'm ignorant to that. But I feel like our efforts should be more in fixing the systemic problems that we have. Like, why is it that a lot of minorities are not going to college and not having that much success in college? Like, I don't think it's all because of their race. Like, I feel like we don't live in the best areas. We don't get the best education. We don't have a lot of the social safety nets that if we fail at things, we could try multiple times. Like, all those things. I feel like if we address all those things, the need to help people get into universities diminishes, you know? For sure. Uh, Yeah, because, I mean, like, everything else is a Band-Aid if you don't address, like, the actual systemic issues, right? But but the problem is uh, you get a lot of talking points from a lot of the loudest people on the right that say that the the only way to fix racism is to stop focusing on, on race. And it's like, that that does that doesn't work that's that, that feels like uh it feels like such a disingenuine response to give it's like it's like oh well you're only worried about race because you're actually racist it's like <laughs> no it's because there's issues that need fixing we would we would love to live in a world where we don't have to worry about race and try to discern things <laughs> i don't know it feels like the florida thing all over again and it's weird it feels the, like uh, florida too? Yeah, just a, I think LGBTQ some like you can discriminate against them now. They're very worried. I don't think you could discriminate. Like there's like the Santis is like don't say gay bill or whatever, which is like a specifically it's a school bill for like the faculty talking about LGBTQ issues at school is like not allowed. Um, which is, I mean, for, and you know, that the, there's a wide array of opinions about that. Like, I feel like it's fine for the most part, but I could see there being problematic issues. Um, like there's some schools that are like, and I, I mean, I get it too, but there's some schools that are like, oh, if, if like, they they won't notify a parent if like a kid is going through like certain things at school in particular so like for example if my kid was like trans only at school and i didn't know about it at all the faculty aren't going to tell me but they would like comply and go through with you know treating the child the way that the child wishes to be treated shit like that like if i found out that shit i would be fucking livid you know what i mean like um i feel like they should tell me But I also understand that there's probably some people that have families that would completely, you know, beat the shit out of their kids or disown their kids if they found out they were gay or something like that. There's there's probably a reason those kids aren't talking to their parents and telling them what they're going through. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Kids are fucking stupid, too, though. I don't know if you've ever been around kids. They're really dumb. I don't know that the adults are any better, though, dude. I've been around quite a bit of adults. (laughs) Sure. 
Um, I don't know how true true it is, but someone was saying that um, some there was another bill or some law or something with the affirmative action that um, with when it comes to like public restrooms, whether you identify as man, woman, or whatever, or transition. This is this is what this. I don't. Person. I don't. I think whatever you're saying is not a real thing. I I okay. have heard almost nothing about this. Yeah. No. They're just saying like bathrooms are only for gender like what your gender was or whatever they, they, I, they, I that think, that was a whole big thing people were talking i don't think about they it. made i don't think they made any rulings regarding that to, 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 I, that i've read yeah, it it sounded crazy I me mean, i was like no there's no way this is true this is, y'all this is some bullshit that just got made up i was just like ah, i asked I, when it just came up i was like ah, let me ask them but yeah because nowadays it's like um with all these rules and and shit just being put into action I don't know. Some of this shit surprises me. You're tapped me. into a weird rotation, like you're like how I'm in black hit Twitter. The 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 thing that you're in, you always be hitting us with these no, zingers. This ain't, this ain't nothing on social media. This is people who actually were talking about this because people were talking about the affirmative action shit, and someone mentioned that. I was like, I don't. I've never heard of that. Like I don't know yeah, about yeah, that. I don't. One. I don't think that. Was, I know I back in April, Florida passed some like anti-trans bathroom bill. Yeah, um, but that was months ago. It's like yeah. special. It's like a they they're like number one on hate is Florida. You got <laughs> which I guess of- I'll take uh, some of my previous statement back. It's like yeah, sure, <laughs> that's like a form of discrimination. 